Welcome to the Crucial Classics Bring Your Own Copy series, where what we do is watch movies together. We are going to watch all of the biggest titles from that golden age of Hollywood. So join me as we will sync up, press play at the same time, and let's just enjoy the magic from this golden age of Hollywood. Hi, welcome back to Crucial Classics. This is your first time here, definitely welcome. Take a look around. We have plenty of content for you to binge. If you love old movies, you're in the right spot because we watch them from start to finish together here on this channel. So let's take a look at the wall of my living room. And it's decorated like this just because old movies are important for the past 31 years. So today's title is our second title honoring Angela Lansbury. Um, we found out this week that she passed away at the age of 96. In the previous watch along of the picture of Dorian Gray, I gave you basically a little biography of her from an interview that I heard her do a few years back with the New York Times. So that was really cool to actually hear her speaking her life story. Um, so if you want kind of just a little short biography on her, that's included in that previous video. This title, The Manchurian Candidate, I wasn't planning on watching. This is hilarious. This is a redo actually for me. So last night I girl got ready, got to work, I'm on camera, I'm recording. We were going to watch Bedknobs and Broomsticks. That is somehow one of the movies from childhood that my younger sister and I completely memorized from start to finish. And I'm watching it. I'm a good hour in plus. And I had already encountered, there was a lot more going on in that movie than I had remembered from memorizing, um, from being a, I was probably 12. And I started to, I stopped it. I was like, okay, we have so much farther to go in this movie. Um, I'm not 12 anymore. It's not hitting the same as it did when I was little. And it was an uncut version of the film that added probably about like at least 20 to half an hour uh, minutes of additional footage. And it was just a bit too much for me. And so I was like, wait a minute, didn't I see the original version and it was in a different language? So I was like, all right, I don't think I'm able to watch Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. Boom, jumped, literally like jumped out, just very catching my eye was the fact of the Manchurian Candidate. And also in that previous watch along, I pointed out the three Academy Award nominations that Angela Lansbury received in her career. The first being Gaslight. We've already had that movie up on this channel for a good many months check that one out it's a very well viewed video on this channel her first film she gets nominated her second film it's not her second film it's her third film because her second one is national velvet i also know that movie by heart and i could have watched that one but she's just not in it enough and we're gonna honor angela lansbury so that's why i decided on bed knobs and broomsticks another well it's not another but it was a disney movie but like another kind of family themed movie just was a little bit uh, too far back in the past. I don't do animated film anymore. I, I can't, I don't watch children's films <laughs> anymore. So <laughs> it's just, I wasn't gonna be able to um, continue to watch that. And it, it was an extended version. I, I couldn't do it. We need to watch the movie that she is thirdly nominated for as Best Supporting Actress. We'll watch it, but we now know we're just going to watch The Manchurian Candidate. It is a deeper movie, heavy themes, but here is what she explains about setting up. I guess it's like the scene in the movie for her, right, where it's her feature point. And she said they had to do that in one take. She said simply for how much preparation went into getting everything set up for everybody to be playing a 3 2 one click, right, pressing record. Um, she's like, they had to get that done in one take. So, and she's like, she's really glad that she did. So she's nominated her first three, within her first three movies, right? Her first one and her third one. I don't know if I circled back to say that the picture of Dorian Gray was actually her third film, not her second film because National Velvet sneaks in in between there. And she was glad, she said, that she didn't win those Academy Awards at that young age. She's 17 in Gaslight. I think she was 19 um, making the picture of Dorian Gray. I feel like she said 19 as her age. And she said that would have stalled her career. By the time that we fast forward to 1962, I saw was the release date of the Manchurian Candidate, she had a different opinion about being recognized. She would have appreciated to be recognized with an Academy Award 20 years later, right? And um, 
Who won it instead was Patty Duke for her role in The Miracle Worker and Bancroft Best Actress for that same movie. That movie is also available to watch along here on this channel. Um, she was disappointed. She said that was actually a really difficult night. She said she'd had a special dress made. Um, I guess she went in there with really high expectations of winning. You know, I don't know if you know she maybe had won the Golden Globe for it or something. There's other awards you can win prior to the Academy Awards to kind of go in there feeling confident that you could win. So it was a blow. And I feel like it may have really kind of been the turning point for her to focus her career onto Broadway, which there she just was rewarded, awarded, you know, ridiculously amounts. So, you know, just lead actress, best actress Tony Award. So she was at heart an actress. Many other people starring in this movie with her. We have, I believe his name is Lawrence Harvey. He's like the main person in here. Um, Frank Sinatra and Janet Lee. The cool thing about Frank Sinatra, right, kind of among a lot of powerhouses, his negotiation that he was not aware of with his contract for this film is he ended up with the rights to it. Um, he was speaking to Larry King about this and he met with the director first and foremost, just kind of in getting to know the director. And the man had asked him if he had read the book, The Manchurian Candidate. He had. He was very interested. And so I feel like Sinatra was very much involved with it from Jump. And I guess that's a way that he got the rights to the movie. So it's into the 80s. It was, and I actually might have been even in the 90s, that it was finally being represented to audiences. It had hit the, you know, movie theaters. Then I feel like it just, it disappeared. And he wasn't aware that he had the rights to this film, but finally, like, after decades, people were kind of raising the question of what happened to the Manchurian Candidate? How come it's never being, you know, shown over the air on, you know, the rerun movie channels? We saw that in the apartment, right? Jack Lemmon comes home and he's just turning the channels and they're playing all of these golden age of Hollywood movies over the TV air. So that wasn't happening with this movie, and as he looked into it, it turned out he had the rights. <clears throat> and so it was this big deal when they were finally presenting it on VHS, and now we all kind of have access to it, thanks to Frank Sinatra, um, you know, getting a little heads up that he had the rights to it. So let's get started. I have a runtime of two hours, six minutes, 56 seconds. You will have seen that on the screen. Ways that I suggest to watch these films with me is on one screen. So here's, you're basically, around your equipment in order to do this right and if you're not right next to your router and you're finding that you're not seeing some of these options that i speak to you like the picture in picture basically you either do or don't have access to that a lot of the time if you're not close enough to your router that little that little booger isn't even going to show up on the screen so here's when you do two tabs you pull me in one tab the movie into another, they will lock side by side. You can make the movie take up more of the screen. You take an HDMI cable, you're likely on your computer setting this up. From your computer, plug that into your big screen TV. Boom, now it's one screen and on your biggest screen. You're next to your equipment, okay? You have your casting ability. First thing you do is you cast your computer to your TV, okay? Launch the movie and it's gonna fill up the screen. Then you can just minimize that. It'll just, you know, hit the minimize button on your movie. It pops down off of the screen. You come back over to this video of me. Play on TV, picture in picture. I'm shrinkable, floatable. Launch the movie back up. Put me in the corner of the movie. Boom. That's the ideal suggested way that you're always watching the film, the largest that you can see it. And me just off in the corner talking crap, hopefully giving us both a little chuckle. And I'm ready to go. So, all right. Playing in three, two, one, click. Okay, and yes, this is what I saw. The version of the film that I am watching right now has started with the Criterion Collection. It's then gonna show United Artists, and then it's gonna show Louis the Lion. So that's definitely adding to this runtime. I will definitely let us have the blurred box on the screen until the film actually uh, credits start to run on the film so you can make sure you're in sync with me if your runtime was slightly less okay here we 
We're in Korea, 1952. And just my own personal research of this war, because it was definitely not what I learned about in school, I gathered that the United States had basically kind of wanted to take a break from war, right? World War II is done. We're not focusing on like our military being the biggest thing we spend our budget on. So we find ourselves actually into this war and it's really that scene from the end of the best years of our lives where the dude is just seeing all these scrapped metaled out planes that are just, it's a junkyard full of planes. We didn't have fresh ready to go new equipment. It was like, oh, we're gonna have to make use of our stockpiled stuff. And then of course we need to start up the factories again. We need to get Rosie the Riveter back because we need to equip ourselves. And this was really the last time that we found ourselves in a position where the majority of our country's budget you know, wasn't going to the military. Our Raymond, our lovable Sergeant Shore. What's his name? Sergeant Shore or Raymond? Is this first? Raymond. Yeah, is his last name Raymond? Because they wouldn't just be calling him by his first name. But he's too much of a soldier. Doesn't have time for that. It's very loud, right? And then, just from observing last night, it's like, we get this dude all up in the screen, and he has such abrupt facial features, right? Like, they are made for the camera. But then, as, you know, you get seconds to look at him, I was like, he's looking, he's giving me Asian. And then, and he sounds like it. Who's Frank Sinatra? Is he the actual, like, he, well, a sergeant, a lieutenant is more than a sergeant, right? I wonder if Frank Sinatra is a lieutenant. I don't know military rankings and stuff, but, um. See, and then this right here, it was like these people were hidden, seriously, they were hidden worse than Humphrey Bogart and his crew in Treasure of the Sierra Madre. I mean, and it is not dark. Uh, they have too much light shining on this situation if they were supposed to not have seen this. <laughs> that was a successful ambush. They were able to pull that off. And clearly this dude was somebody that the American you military forces had in service with them, and he just gave them up. And so... I mean, okay, was it their whole battalion that just got captured like this? And why are they all knocked out? Well, they did get hit in the head with butts of guns, right? Is that what, what's going on? And it, are they just like in this little basket outside the helicopter? Okay, this is Korean forces. Obviously, it wasn't. What, that didn't look like the United States. Actually, who did he just shake hands with? I didn't pay attention enough to who he just was shaking hands with on the success of this ambush. And then also, why is why did we see faces, but now we see the Queen of Diamonds? And there was Angela Lansbury's credit, but I feel like we're supposed to understand, like, is that Angela Lansbury's role? Is she going to be the uh, Queen of Diamonds? I need to stop thinking that I'm going to figure out the movie at the opening credits. <laughs> but we don't always get movies that start with the film before the credits. Okay, so yes, Sinatra had been asked if he had read that novel. He had. I 
found that kind of, it's like really, uh, costumes are by Moss Mabry. I feel like we have heard that name before. And then the costumer is Wesley V. Jeffries. That was kind of hot. It was like, oh, Frank Sinatra read books like that too, just on his own. <laughs> I'm not saying that like he couldn't do it, but that's extra kind of hot because Frank Sinatra is hot. He could get it. And it's like, oh, he just had already read this book when he came across I feel like it's not Axelrod because we see him quite a bit. I feel like John Frankenheimer is the director. Yeah. He just kind of was meeting Frankenheimer and just so happened to already have been versed on this book. Yeah. That, you don't hear a whole lot of people with that million. Wow. What's his name? Oh, okay, his name is Raymond. And it's like, why? Cause is the war over? Or they just plucked him out of the war to bring him home to give him this medal. And yeah, like, why did he get the medal? What happened? Like, he returned to service after... And he has an attitude about this. Like, he does not want to be here. And here she goes. So she got to bust through. This political way she's giving us the reprisal of the uh, State of the Union okay so she's just all about politics she was that's so horrible when people say I was going to like act like I gave an F about the existence of your life Except I didn't reach out to you when you were in the Korean War to find out why. Is that Sinatra? And his superior officer is Sinatra. Okay. I was going to say, this little private plate. Okay, Lansbury. Um, yeah, so all that happened. And I forgot to write around, you know, getting around to writing you because I was helping my man. Oh, this full... I thought it was the captain of the plane or whatever, the pilot, the whole way, the metal. Oh. How does he already have this lined up? Oh. Hmm. 
Okay, all right. He this happened on the spot. And it's our hatred for this man. Does he say it? Okay, this is this is this type of movie. Damn. Okay, yeah, there's problems with Mama. Is that Sinatra? He can't sleep and okay. They were missing in action for three days. Nine of them survived. He led his nine surviving battalion members and then himself single-handedly took over a machine gunist and took out the whole opposing battalion, Raymond. Because I was like, what happened that he won a Congressional Medal of Honor? Well, that would be worth it. She's stuttering on her little cart. That music is creepy AF. So they're creating a little scene that these dudes are looking at. This woman is acting like she's just giving this speech to these bitches. <laughs> and these dudes are standing behind her watching. But not really. Okay, we need to pay attention to the two. Are you going to say which two? Stalin and Shanghai Shek. Korea is communist. They think oh, this is. Weird. They're brainwashed right now. And that is really the man. So it's not a real cigarette. Manchuria, that's in China, right? So for three days, they're hypnotized. Okay. Oh, there's someplace else right now. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm glad somebody asked that. About getting to the point. Okay, well, I think all of ours 
are for what well that would be what he would be referring to right okay So this is a little convention of members around the world. Oh, does he have an answer? Okay. Is it the brother? can remember that. Oh, he speaks on it. See something, say something, huh? side of the thing. Okay, well now you have not cause all kinds of problems. Okay. He just didn't do something like that. Sinatra, you are just keeping this going. Are we trusting this, brother? This is like Condor. Inside. doing his little research. Marco. Hey, everybody inside of this right now. A really strong suspicion that, you know, you guys could have some knowledge about whether or not I was brainwashed along with Raymond and like they, they did this dude that didn't make it and you know I just I'm really worried that that's what happened to me what do you guys think and now all of a sudden he's getting reassigned why are they on TV I over talked what they reassigned him to but here's his mother that's her mom, or her man. Oh, there he is.
<laughs> From what state, Paul? Well, Oh, so he has exact names. I love her gloves. What? Your name? of power so he just announced that when he's going to form a little committee to do this research on the 200 names 200 207 no it was 200 I thought it was 207 He said 107 and then 275. One, two, three, four, five. There were nine of them, plus himself is six, and Raymond is seven. He said nine that survived. Who, the narrator said Raymond. That's, that's, it's just the one dude that got it, but they all have the recollection of it. How come they remember it? Because as it's happening, they're not acknowledging it. What? What? No, no they ain't bringing this to the Baptist church. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I'm just saying, with the stereotypes that are going on, you could tell that dude that was speaking was supposed to be giving us Russian. He looks like Wally from Leave it to Beaver. This is, um, horrific. Oh my!
Yeah, we need to get a little uh, recap on Raymond. So we saw Marco. And I'm so I should have... I didn't know, you know, this is definitely the equivalent of a first time watch, and I, you know what, here's my knowledge, I've seen this in bits and pieces ever before one time, it's a trip of a movie, I was not strapped in watching this paying attention, and so it's definitely a first time watch, I don't know like what not to talk over, but, so again, Frank Sinatra is three days of the condor, he is being plagued by having been converted and he goes to his military people and says hey you know i'm having a major problem with my life because i feel like my mind has been effed and you know it happened while i was serving for this country and uh, this is in great detail every single thing that i recall at night after night that happened like it switches up it's the baptist church it's these bitches in the um hotel <laughs> foyer lobby whatever and people are getting eliminated and I really am just I gotta tell all of you guys in the highest you know ranks of you know where I'm reporting to right now about it what do you think and they relocated his ass reassigned him to do something that has him sitting next to the De secretary of defense when he's just definitely got a desk job now and they had already said that he'd been reassigned to um, intelligence okay Is he about to burn the letter? Okay. How come he remembers that? It goes back and forth between their vision of seeing that it's the Chinese and the Russians and Koreans. It's really not that hard of a movie to understand if you pay attention to it, right? Like, if you're just watching it. Do the cards always come out the same? He didn't shuffle the deck. It's going to be the Queen of Diamonds. Huh? If he ever sees the Queen of Diamonds, that's the reason why we saw that in the opening credits. Oh, yeah. He's, is he, like, getting right to... He knows to, like, just get to the Queen of Diamonds. There it is. So he's got to get to the Queen of Yeah, he doesn't shuffle the car. How? The Red Queen. <laughs> They're not watching him, are they? Hit and run. That's who he works for? They wanted to check on him, so they ran him over. He ain't supposed to be working for that dude, huh? They're not going to tell him. Okay, they just slapped a little bandage cap on his head. He ain't, they didn't run him over. They did want to check on him. They did not run him over. Or did they? Just to make it look convincing.
So he's in some type of position that the United States trusts. Okay. In this little room, too. Uh, right, that's not... Okay, it's a rehab center. Uh, yeah, that's not about communism, right? To lighten up? Okay, yeah. We didn't see that. That was just two names spoken very quickly. Okay, no. We didn't see. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. Okay. Because it's just a little cap. Well, is <laughs> Oh, they haven't done that yet in two years. He's gonna go sightseeing. I was gonna, are they really gonna jack him up? Are they gonna break a bone or two? They say that in front of him? Minimum rest. <clears throat> you
this is a trip of a story, right? Like, um, oh, he's in his bed. Okay, yeah, because it looks like it is your wife's fault. Okay, yeah, so they didn't mess him up. Yeah. Um, well, because are you, like, at all concerned about how come he just opened your bedroom door? Okay, so you don't have people that are downstairs that, like, would have opened the front door for him? It's not them. <laughs> You're just in your wife's negligee. <laughs> Having a conversation with him, just at ease. Not even worried about somebody walking into your bedroom at 4 o'clock in the morning. When you do not have a butler. <laughs> Who is this? Sinatra, are they coming to ask you or tell you? Let me. Somebody in Sam. Cisco. That's what I'm talking about. Like, he was reading books. He already read this book. They just come mysteriously in the mail from San Francisco and you read them on time and shit. Okay, um... You can't keep saying that, Sinatra. Yeah, it was robotic. Sinatra. Does he get paid for that? It's not an option, it's not a choice. Is he gonna refuse the order? Now he's out of the military? See, Sinatra be saying too much, because this fool came in, saw all these creepy-ass books that he's got, and then he says, oh, yeah, no, there's some dude, because he, what? 
he asked if it was official, if he could make him a drink, and then he was saying, yeah, he's in San Francisco, and he sends me all of these books all the time. And I am getting well-read on shit that has to do with stuff from around the world. Everybody's culture. We up in here multiculturalizing this shit with all these books I gotta read. And, oh, but it's not a problem, but I look like I am falling apart as I got to the last of 15 books that I tell you that I have read that just come to me out of nowhere. And Raymond is all this shit, but he's also the most repulsive person I've ever met. Something is the matter. Now, oh, he ain't doing public relations. He's on permanent sick leave. Um, Janet Lee is totally stalking him like this, is this close and he didn't notice that? <laughs> he can't smoke. Girl, um, serious, I mean, she was just like this on him this whole time. <laughs> Did he light it? Did he get it lit? Light it for him, girl, because you are all up in his business. Is she going to be right there right now, too? Is she going to come walking all fast? I don't know. It actually is. Is she an op? He's a major now. That's a little too exotic. Um, okay, Eugenie. Yeah. I don't like the way she's looking at him. Is she an op? I mean, yeah, somebody ain't talking to you like this, just seriously. Um. I mean, a stranger ain't just gonna be looking at you like... Oh, sh she didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, I thought Arabic. Did they ask each other if they were Arabic? And then she said, let me put it another way. Are you married?
why does he need to? Why did she give him all of her contact information like that? Oh, um, but you know what? aspect of this movie is so freaking creepy here's a do you if you are of that ethnicity background culture is that a do you guys consider that offensive that word. I was trained we don't say that anymore. Um, why does he have that look on his face? Mm-hmm. He doesn't have a father, right? Right? Okay, that's not his father. Okay. Oh, okay. Damn. <laughs> Ooh, damn. All right. <laughs> What? Is he going to give the address? And now, does he need to get the deck of cards and just do some solitaire? Or what, he don't want salty foods and shit? For real? I mean, he broke this down right away. He's been handed over to his American aunt now. He did his assignment. He eliminated somebody just to make sure he knows how to do it so he could get handed over to his American ops. So he can say the same number every time. I don't want you to talk to me like this as my woman. Yeah, I think that's what he was asking for. If he could just have one thing. 
<laughs> Is it Heinz 57 sauce? <laughs> Is it number? You know, you, you. <laughs> glimpse of what can just go the most horrifically wrong. <clears throat> Ooh. I've heard that that's like a way that you should try to defend yourself if it was this type of a situation, people. Oh my gosh. Ooh. He came at him like this, and then... <laughs> what was this about? Damn. He go, is he going to do like the five finger... <laughs> Kill Bill. Oh, look at him, look at him, look. I, I, I. Oh. Damn. I like this. I'm getting some techniques. Break that man's arm up. Who's coming for him? Eugenie. Why? Why? Oh, he remembered her number, huh? He would he could make one phone call. Is she gonna carry his big ass bag like that? Um, mm, I don't trust her. I am very concerned about who this woman is. She's creepy as f whoever she is. Do you know what I mean? Cleaned her house. Yeah. Yeah, she did call him darling already. He wasn't large. <clears throat> yeah. He can handle himself. The 
also a general called her. Um, because he is totally her man now. Okay, I guess that's how they got together. Um, oh, he came back. <clears throat> he didn't break him. That dude opened the door. Have you been to Raymond? <laughs> Seeing somebody for you haven't seen in a decade. Oh, you look great. You look the same. And he just read him fulfilled. Why is he picking up papers off of his desk? Oh. He can already tell what's going on by something that he sees. Oh, the Congressional Medal. <clears throat> and he hasn't ever been awarded anything. Oh. You're the last person on the planet that should deserve to have this. Why? The other dude, the brother, just said couple of weeks okay yeah how do you know that huh they showed this scene on Larry King when they were saying how they were releasing this on video cassette he got a letter okay yeah yeah the brother hated me oh he was best friend so am I He put that in writing and sent it through the U.S. Postal Service. <laughs> oh. He burned it. Yeah. Mm. Raymond is very robotic. doesn't do things for people, right? He came back to DC. I love, they got this brother is working for the military as like the head psychiatrist on stuff. Okay, so they're just showing him. That dude. Quit changing the photos, dude. He said, hold it. Oh, he gonna keep going on the other side? Okay, can you stop? No, Raymond, what you showing them? sense of smell is your strongest one connected to memory. For what country? <clears throat> oh, 
okay, now what? Okay, so they're really letting it be known about the United States government is not in on this. That's the theme of this movie, right? Okay. Um, oh, homeboy gets to comes back into the room. It's okay. No. Oh, he ain't there, right? He's not there. You think he's a spy? <clears throat> oh, so he's just, Frank Sinatra's just at work right now. Because his job is Raymond Shaw right now. Why not start it up? Just show people you don't give an F, you know? <laughs> um, okay, so he's taking it off. Yeah, all right, Raymond. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, he needs some intel. What? Tony Soprano. Check it out, people. We're getting deep. Into that theme in the Sopranos. TV Reactions channel. Oh, she was a senator's daughter. All right. That's her origin story of being in politics. Is this dude that she's married to is really just a buffoon, like, way beneath her as far as her, um, pedigree? She is really pretty in this movie so far. Okay. Alright, he wasn't. And you've had that be your reality of your experience. Okay, Josie. Oh, he just was showing a picture of somebody named Josie, not his mother. I was saying Angela Lansbury is pretty so far in this movie. So Josie was... before. Why? How? Well, okay. Where? Was it a rattles? Poison.
Okay, dang, her shorts could not be shorter. It's, she's got just a bathing suit on. Which she did a great job. She paid attention to her training. This dude is a senator? Okay, so... Okay, okay yeah. don't get it twisted. Yeah. What is that? What, a whole bunch of alcohol or some shit? Um, he got, he got defensive about that. Uh, did he already completely know that? He has American stuff all behind him. Okay, all right. Is that the ACLU? <laughs> oh, so don't give the money to that, though. <laughs> if he... Oh! <laughs> then we keep it moving up. We're moving it right along. This is a good movie, dude. Uh -huh. Oh, this is the first and one and only time that Raymond laughs. Ah! Uh -huh. Wow, dude. <laughs> It really began after that? When he was in love and he was lovable. What his mom is not there yet? Or that dude, the, his stepdad? Okay. Alright. Great. Well, when's his mom coming? She came. Ooh. That was creepy. Music stops. Is this how she first just came into the house? his name
Uh, see, I thought he was saying that she was a senator's daughter. No, Josie is. What? Where, where? We're gonna get some more information on her. I love what she's wearing. Why is this a very Mandarin collar? Asian flair. Did he believe it? Did he believe the stuff that she showed him? To Josie? Okay, like what Dorian Gray wrote to Angela Lansbury in the last movie that we just watched to honor her <laughs> on this channel. Oh. Well, where is Josie? He just broke up with her via text. She's not... Gone? We'll go find her, dude! Damn! I thought something had happened to Josie. Like, that's the reason why we were getting all this past tense. This is a little bar. again you <laughs> down <laughs> Okay, but the phone's not gonna ring right now. What, it, what is he doing? Raymond already paid. That phone don't deserve no tip. Raymond is his work, so he is going to follow. Okay. Seeing the Red Queen. Because I was like, isn't there another Red Queen? There's the Queen of Hearts. Whatever happens if he sees that. But that was, again, specifically the Queen of um, Diamonds. So, uh, without shuffling the deck at home, he's going to get to the Queen of Diamonds at the... You can time it how quick he's going to get to it. Because he's going to speed it up until he gets to it. Right away, the phone's ringing. <laughs> so I was like, what's going to happen when he sees it right now? Because the, nobody, they're not watching him like that. Then right away, the phone just rings wherever he is. What is this? It looks, are those ships? Okay, he's just, is this Central Park? Is he supposed to get into water or something whenever he, on his own, he sees the Queen of Diamonds because he's under 
hypnosis right now. Is Sinatra gonna have to jump into this icy water to save this fall right now? It doesn't look like it's deep enough water, but it is icy. What was Raymond doing with his hands? That's what started him kicking that man's ass before. It would be his mother. <laughs> yeah, the mother issues. Trying to contour his chin. She's decided not. Yeah, she would be running that. <laughs> Damn. I thought, yeah, okay. <laughs> and you <won't> me. <laughs> Yeah. 
that's who the party is for. Yeah, why? Oh, that was caviar? Gross, dude. The costume effect is really bizarre, huh? So is she just supposed to be a little, um... German sheep herder lady girl whatever the Lanzel and Gretel <laughs> it's in costume <laughs> why'd she have a child he looks like um Something Spanish. A gaucho. What does that mean? That his head is about to come to a point. A nail? She just locked the door. Okay. This is the scene. Um, because we need to circle back to. He's been handed over to his American op. Oh. He said fascist. He gotta get to it, get to that card. He, he sped it up to get to it. Or he gonna listen to it. Does she like put it? space. He's hypnotist. There's Josie. Oh, save him, Josie. She comes in. He wrote her the worst letter. for you, Josie. Darn it, though. No. Would Josie be giving us a leg, huh? on your knees. Wow. Okay, uh, about what?
the vice president. Would you block him? Yeah. What difference does it make? Okay, he's reading her. Okay. Not only is it a yes, but I said buffoon. Okay. Oh, he hasn't yet. Oh, I thought she was going to say, like, she looks forward to it or whatever. <laughs> oh, Raymond um, got the spell broken. Oh. Yeah, you know what, though? Like, I could already tell that was the nature of his relationship with that girl, Josie. Because he had it sticking out before her. <laughs> yeah. Well, is Rosie an army intelligence officer? Get married. Is Rosie keeping her eyes open? I mean, what is up with Rosie? I don't trust her. Is he in his apartment? Oh, they got married. Gaucho, yeah, okay. Wow. Okay. No, Raymond. Okay. He's becoming a human being, huh? Like, and he needs to document it. Oh, yeah. Queen of 
diamonds. <clears throat> Is she in on it? The Queen of Diamonds costume is too much, right? Is it being thrown in our face and she's convincing us to question what we know? Cognitive dissidence. Cognitive dissonance. Is he going to survive until then? Okay, are you leaving, Ben? This is a good, good, good movie, people. I thought it was a lot harder to understand. Does he need to pass the time with playing some solitaire? Because Angela Lansbury sure did think that Josie would make him, did I say Josie, would make him a great wife. Yeah, Josie's only serving us leg, huh? He's Okay. He's got to go see his mom. Oh, he's in his mother's house. Boy, she sure does wear a lot of Asian flair attire. Raymond is this um I thought it was Frank Sinatra it's Raymond
Oh, he has a silencer. He doesn't see it. With the silencer. Yeah, I mean, yes. With the silencer. These last two movies that we have watched with Angela, Lan Angela Lansbury could not be more extreme, right? Could not be more just unexpected, tame too much, draining, right? It's like an emotional experience. I don't trust Rosie. I know it's in the it's in the paper. Yep. Senator Jordan and his daughter slain. He gave her forty eight hours. I said, would he survive? I didn't think to say, would she survive? They know that he did that. Yeah, oh, His American op. He's in retreat. They're actually, oh, that looked like the place they had him at first. I was like, they're actually examining him again. across the street from the convention. Now, what Raymond had come back for was to beat the pulp out of that fool. That's what he said. And then his mom was immediately handling him. Okay, he did stay there. I can't even predict. I always have to say it to him like that. Every card is going to be that. Oh.
can do that and now tell him the truth. That's who it was. To China. Russia. And China. In 1962. Of the imaginary action, okay. had Who's that? Oh, the newspaper. What did they say? They said something about going into jumping in the lake. Jumping in the lake. They said, go jump in the lake. He does not. He does not. That's true. Why does he know that? This poor guy, you know what I mean?
Does he need to write it down? Like, he should have already had it written down, Sinatra. <laughs> he is his superior officer, huh? He doesn't have to remember about the senator's house. Mother. <clears throat> does that work? It does, huh? Because Sinatra said the Red Queen. This is nineteen sixty two. In 63, right? This is the scene. Could have been an Academy Award winner. Ah, uh, what is <laughs> this? Oh my gosh. Just the sick and twistedness of it and just the absolutely terrifying. And I'm really troubled by 
This is 1962 and 1963. Is this Raymond? He just walked by where he needs to aim to, right? They remade this movie, right, with Denzel Washington. What role does he play? Is he Frank Sinatra? So yeah, her husband is too much of a buffoon. They knew that they could not put him on the ticket to be the presidential candidate. Vice president is what they only we're aiming for. He didn't call Frank Sinatra home because the Red Queen still worked. Frank just had 52. She had a life-size version. She did. Why was the girl dressed up as the Queen of Diamonds? That wasn't by chance, right? She needed that big ass Queen of Diamonds card. Somehow, I mean, like that just wasn't a chance happening. He's under the spell right now. He's not about to call Frank Sinatra. This is not something he's in control of right now. Okay, Frankie boy, how are you going to understand? It's just going to be 845 and you haven't heard from him. You said, call me by 8.30. Because he's, his mom had a life-size Queen of Diamonds card. How go? They're the only two in here. He said he had 500 people at his disposal. Why do they have that little beard? Is that... Is that the way the little man campaigns himself with that fake beard? That's what he had on at the costume party. Why is this dude tranced out? Who's this dude and who's Rosie? I'm still concerned. Why was the room in the beginning filled with so many people? He says he has 500 people at his disposal and now it's only him and that dude that are available to handle this. I kind of once again talked over whatever Frank Sinatra just said to that man because I was concerned about why was that dude looking so much like he was in a trance like oh let's just stay here until 8.59 and then Raymond's going to pull off what I'm in on too. And Rosie's really okay. I mean it's just too much about what Sinatra knows, right? Like, how much danger Sinatra himself is actually in. For he wouldn't stop just saying, like, every single detail about this dream that I had every night. We were here, we were there. People looked like this. They smelled like this. <laughs> that's their picture. That's their picture. I 
I mean, you just, it's, oh my gosh. Why is he looking like this? Like up at Raymond. <laughs> what did she just say? Raymond what? For his life? Dude next to Sinatra. What's up? Her husband is prepared. For what's going on. Oh, they don't have to get up. They're part of the party. <sighs> How is Sinatra going to see? How in the world is he seeing? Okay. So now there's going to be a struggle. Here's my question, and I, I don't, can't spoil, but I'm curious to know, is Angela Lansbury going to get it? Oh, yeah. Her husband just cut his eyes over up to Raymond. He went... So he's ready to go, but he's also just going to need to wait. He doesn't know when that's going to come, right? He just knows what he's supposed to say. That which I would not.
people, this is one of the best. I shame on me that I do. Saved us all. The end. Okay, for me, it just stopped. Um, I'm sure there may have been out music or something. Oh. Like and subscribe. Um, woo. Where do we go from here? <laughs> we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you guys so much for watching this movie with me. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Hey, hit that thumbs up button for me, especially if you're hearing my voice saying this right now. <laughs> <laughs> you watched to the end. Um, go ahead and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you can always be aware of our newest titles to watch together. See you next time.